Gary, I think it would have been an injustice if we'd come here today, played like that and not got anything from today. An outstanding performance that, apart from the three points, was pretty much all there. Yeah, I think it's a bit of injustice that we got one point. Uh, thought we were outstanding from start to finish. Uh, one of the best starts we've had. We find ourselves 1-0 down early from a mistake. But I just said to the players, away from home, it can be easy after that to panic, to go a bit more direct and, and play the game that Wickham want us to, but we stayed strong, we kept belief in our own identity, we kept playing, not only playing, we kept creating chances and really good chances, especially first half, and, and again, sometimes that can, well, you know, when you miss the chances, it can, it can bring you down going into the second half, but they went again and created even more chances second half and uh, thoroughly deserved the equaliser, and, and like I said, I think we, you know, on another day we go and win the game. We always say football's a funny old game. We perhaps could have been wandered up inside 60 seconds and, and we find ourselves with their only chance in the first half an hour of the game, 1-0 down. Yeah, that's football. I just, I just said that to the players, you know, that the opportunities we gave Wickham were the only opportunity. I didn't think they created much. I think it was our uh, sloppiness at times that, that gave them opportunities, so we have to tighten up on that. But... Uh, the way I asked the team to play and how they carried that out was, was sensational at times. Some of the movement, the rotations, uh, how incisive we were in the final third. It just didn't quite drop to us. I still felt we had good numbers in the box, but it didn't quite fall to us. And then we missed good opportunities at times, but uh, really delighted with the boys and, and how they reacted to that setback early on. Sheffield Wednesday are the only side to have come here since October and picked up three points. And Wickham had won every home game apart from that one since the start of the year I mean to put in a performance like that against a side that are notoriously hard to beat must be really proud yeah really proud of the players we are starting to create an identity we are starting to really dominate teams even home and away they had eight shots one on target we had 16 shots dominated possession but now we are starting to turn that possession into opportunities and it's now about you know taking those opportunities and being, being more ruthless when we create those chances but uh in terms of performance, I, I was I was really happy, and a point here is is a good point, albeit we are a, a little bit disappointed it wasn't all three. That usual question now: What did you say to the players at half time? Because we found ourselves one 0 down, but surely it must have been keep it up more of the same. Yeah, I always think it's important you you get a feel the players were a little bit frustrated, a little bit angry uh, because they they know they're playing well. Uh, so it's just giving them clarity on, on what they need to do in the second half. We had some good clips where we showed how we could break them down, where the areas that we could play in to really hurt them. And uh, second half when Stano came on, the, the move for the, the, the goal when you know Archie makes the first run as a number 10 and the opposite number 10 comes across is something we work on every day. And in fairness to Norms, I thought it was a fantastic strike. Going across the keeper was a great decision. And then... I don't know who popped up in the six-yard box, but I wasn't expecting Kevin McDonald to be there. But uh, real great anticipation from him and, and desire to get in the box. So a uh, brilliant goal and, and had, had chances after that to go and win it. Kevin McDonald, or as uh, we've seen on social media since full-time, uh, the Scottish Iniesta. Yeah, he's bigger than Iniesta. <laughs> uh, he's getting a drug test. I can see why uh, they're drug testing him, because he's... Uh, He's been sensational. Uh, he hadn't scored, I think it was five years last week. He nearly scored you know, two last week. He scored again today. It's not what he's in the team for, but uh, just his all-round game, his professionalism, uh, his character has, has been fantastic since he came to the club and uh, been absolutely delighted with what he's done. And, and he deserves the, the credit that he's getting at the minute because he's worked extremely hard over a long period of time and, and had a really difficult time with, with health and stuff. And, uh, for him to be playing football and, and enjoying it and showing his quality in the way that he is, is, is a joy to see. And he welcomed a second child a couple of weeks ago as well. I think a couple of seasons ago, our former captain Jake Taylor welcomed a newborn and then scored three in three games, so maybe that's the way to go. Hopefully, yeah, you better get another one on the way then. Uh, hopefully he scores next week again, but I think he's, uh, his partner and kids are still up in, up in Scotland and, and they're coming down soon. Uh, so, so hopefully he gets his family down and they can they can witness that other goal next week. One change to the starting lineup: Raheem Harper uh, in for Stano in that number m number ten role. We saw the impact Stano had off the bench. Why did you opt for Raheem today? Uh, physicality. I think you could see Wickham are a real physical team. They play a lot of direct balls to Volks, and we we felt we could use 
Rakeem's height and physicality along with Kev's to try and screen Volks uh, at, at set plays, really at free kicks, uh, goal kicks. And then I also felt like Stano at times we can uh, uh, we, we use up a lot of his energy in the first hour of the game and when the game dies down and he's not got that spark uh, that he needs to, to create and score goals. And I thought he did that when he came on. I thought he was sensational when he came on. And uh, he's another player that I love working with because of his attitude. And when he, when, you know, when I, I tell him the reason why he buys into it, uh, he doesn't sulk. And he, and he came on with fantastic energy and quality and, and set up the goal and, and, and created other moments as well. So a real team effort from everyone today. And uh, that's how it has to be moving forward. What do you say to players at full time? Well done. Uh, I think I've spoke a few times recently about us being a process team and, and, and believing in a process that is consistently going to give us results. Uh, so no matter what the result is, I, I think we have to look at performance and, and see you know, the work we're doing during the week and how they apply that in a, in a match day. And they applied it extremely well for large periods of the game. There's always little things we can improve on. I think at times we're a little bit sloppy. I think at times when we're attacking, we're a, a little bit loose defensively and look open to, to counter-attack. So there's always work to be done. There's always areas we can improve. But overall, absolutely delighted with how they came to a stadium that's notoriously difficult to win at and how they, they like I said, they put their identity on to Wickham and totally dominated the game. You mentioned Sam Folks briefly in your previous answer. Kept him fairly quiet today, apart from one moment where he almost scored an unbelievable goal. Yeah, I just said to him on the pitch, where did that come from? He looked like he turned into Ronaldinho for 10 seconds. Uh, he's a handful. He's, you know, he's had a fantastic career and played at a high level. And I thought we kept him relatively quiet and kept him away from the box. The key we, we're a big player and a physical player like that is keeping him as far away from the box as you can and making him run and chase the ball. And I thought we did that for, for the, the, the large part of the game. I touched on this briefly last week when we beat Cambridge, but do you there is a sort of a correlation between moving into the new training ground and that positivity around the place? And it seems both games since then, brilliant performances and, and four points. Yeah, I think it's been coming since the turn of the year or the, the end of the, the transfer window. It feels like a, a new group with, with the new additions we made to the squad, the, the new training ground, I think. Uh, we're, we're starting to create a new identity and, and we are imposing that home and away uh, in, in games and it's not easy to win football matches at this, this level, I think we've, we've found that but if we keep uh, believing in this, keep playing this way then, then I'm very confident that, that this will bring us results consistently. Great stuff, Ray. thank you very much.